Taurus, sign of Libra. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 72 hours. And thank you so much for tuning in, watching, likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate all comments, any kind of support that I can get for this channel. I appreciate it very much. Um, if you would like a private reading or you want to donate to the channel, look in the description box below to find that information out. So we're going to call in uh, the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading. For Libra, if we can call in Libra's angels, spirit guides, and higher self to give us messages that are for the greater good sign of Libra. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on for your next 72 hours. We're going to draw some oracle cards. We will start with this archetype deck. We'll draw two and then um, oracle cards and tarot at the end. So, ooh, Venom. Venom and the Hunter. The Hunter and the Venom. Hmm. All right, so... What are you hunting? What are you hunting? You're not fighting for something here. You're hunting for something. You're seeking something. There's a target. There is a target. And I think that this um, yearning to find this, you know, whatever it is that you're hunting for right now, whether it be change in job, career, romance, um, Maybe you're just hunting for yourself. Maybe you're going through like a dark night of the soul. Because the venom is what I think gave you the... Um, I think it goes like this. I think it goes like venom and the hunter. And the venom is the dark times in life that provide this suffering to us that we don't realize in the moment everything's working out for our greater good. It's um, like they say, you can understand life backwards, but you must live it forwards. So this self-awareness that comes out of suffering, out of a place of suffering, is where, and it's, it's kind of like it fades, this goes into this, and then becomes that workhorse looking for its target. Um, it just looks like it's a continuum of that. So it's the good that can come out of suffering. It's learning through the suffering, um, the darkness. And we don't always have to learn that way, but we do a lot of the times we choose to learn that way. So let's see. We all been there, done that too. Let's see. Let's get you some spell casting cards. Maybe you're hunting for soul purpose, life plan, divine life plan. What is your soul's mission? Maybe hunting for justice. The justice card might be dealing with a Libra. Or we could be dealing with a situation that's just not really fair. Ooh, not really fair at all. Too many, too many. Just one more time for Libra. There we go. Well, I was right about that. Okay, and then we have finding. That's part of it. So I'm going to give you that. Finding, which is about finding your life purpose. That's what this card is about. It's um, finding what you seek. So what your target is, you will hit with this finding card. And you'll figure out what your life purpose is. What does the divine have in store for you that maybe you and your soul came up with before you even came here? So the, the way I take this is that you're being Libra. You're being authentically you. And that finding your life purpose from suffering, from, from a place that was maybe unbalanced before, is going to get in balance. Don't worry. Whatever you're seeking, you will find. You will find. And you will find that life purpose too. Everybody has um, spiritual gifts that I believe personally are coming out more right now. And I believe when you tap into these spiritual gifts, all of this stuff, I think these things are just going to come kind of like quick was once you're in alignment with your soul your higher self they call it 
um, you are going to speed things up drastically. Uh, progress is going to be sped up a lot. And this is Wisdom from the Oracle deck. <laughs> I think that one wants to come out. And that one. Woo! Well, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah. This is like every single sign has gotten this card, whether it's on the bottom or it's flipped out for you. Every card has the same, um, no, sorry, every uh, sign has the same meaning with this never ending story. I think it's talking about what we're doing here on earth and what we're doing when we evolve our soul, having to come full circle and then we experience death because I think we want to experience death. Um, I think everything that we're, that we're here doing is something that we've wanted to do. I know that's hard to think of in times of suffering, but I think your soul doesn't look at things as suffering or good or bad. Just the experience that will help your soul grow learn, be able to have compassion for other people, for their situations. Chances are that you've probably lived um, like that. We've had so many lifetimes now built up that it's bound to evolve right now into a time of compassion, transformation, um, changing of belief systems. This stuff was all meant to evolve and it came about because of all of our experiences. So then we have the higher power card with the number four. And you see the little third eye is like lit up like there's a key to that third eye. Maybe you should try some meditating and try to uh, let visualization come into your meditation without thinking of the um, image first. So kind of like imagining a blank theater screen. And, and you just listen to what I do is I listen either to like a fan or the refrigerator or something that's like a white noise. And um, that's how I get into that meditative state. But yeah, you're working with your higher power, your higher self. This is in alignment with your I life. Mean, the peace that lays inside um, that inner knowing, that deep uh, deep resonance with peace because like say your higher self they're always peaceful they're always happy and peaceful we're gonna do um a guardian angel card too i think that would be more than appropriate too so higher power peace inside life purpose justice wow that's a good spread Okay, Guardian Angels, what do you have to say to Libra, please? Angel of Learning. Hmm. Maybe you're teaching for a life purpose. Maybe you're teaching or maybe you're sticking up for something like being an advocate if this is about a court case with the justice card, then it will be favorable to you. Um, this angel of learning, though, it's like the never-ending story. We're always learning. We are always learning. All right, so let's bring in the tarot. And, we're, and look, angel of adventure is on the bottom. I like that. Angel of adventure. Now, this is the tarot. And we're going to shuffle it just see where they land and um if we can find a meaning by based on where the cards land <laughs> whoa really doesn't usually dump out that many all right they just seem to clobber up in the middle there. They haven't been doing that. Page of Swords. This is a need for more information. Or it could be a delay of some sort. Uh, Page of Swords. Getting getting information from different sources. Uh, could be a spy in your midst. Could be somebody spying on you. Maybe through social media. You know how there's just a million ways people can hack into your life and invade your privacy 
that's what that card is about. Or it's about a child, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, this is what we've got. All right. Good cards. Good cards. I'm just going to spread them out like this. Oh, wow. And it starts with that, really? So, you have the full. It starts with the full. And then, so that's that new adventure. You're taking a leap of faith. And then we go on towards celebration, maybe reuniting with friends, getting together and really making some memories. Might be getting together and drinking some, who knows. So that's like after, it goes in sequence. So after this celebration, then we have the death card, which might be something has transformed. It, it's, it, it may be the way that you handle something, the new start. It could be that. It could be death actually creeping into your life at this time with um, someone from your family maybe passing away. I hope not. And my condolences if it has. Um, we do have, so we have death or transformation to King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is the entrepreneur. Maybe that's what we're transforming, what we're creating. It's the entrepreneur energy, inspiring person, masculine um, energy. So it's, it's going to be action-packed, whatever he starts, he finishes. And then we have nine of swords and this was the same as another sign i think it was either scorpio or pisces had this like right just like this too this one came before this one so it's this insomnia worry anxiety and i think it has to do with our life purpose and maybe this justice card to libra so we're worried we're staying up at night thinking about this Maybe thinking about what, what, how your life purpose ties into what your on, entrepreneurship will be. Um, then we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything you could want and in between. It's everything. So it's having abundant um, resources and money supply. Um, abundance in all forms. So family pet doesn't come in one it comes in twos and then the family on here well we have the grand people and we also have the adults mixed with the little children there so yeah and then it's got that little cape of like royalty all of them are having these shawls like of royalty to me so it's gonna be good peace we're gonna have to find some peace with the heartache of the past, the venom. So with the venom of the past, we're going to have to find some peace. We are going to trust that what we have sown is really what we're going to reap. Like what our harvest is going to be like. We don't judge our day by the harvest, but by the seed sown. So we're doing good. We're doing good. We're finding purpose in things. We're searching. We're hunting for something. And we have the higher, um, oops, higher power helping us out too. Oh, good fortune. I like that. So we're going to stop there. There's a lot of these tea leaves. They're not all going to resonate. Fan, romance, celebration, or party right there. Beetle, good fortune. Good fortune, probably this. February, if somebody wanted a date for something, February, let's put that there. Tower, success, um, solid foundation and success with effort. This tower is going to involve your building up of a tower, not, not a sudden fall of a tower. Uh, ink pot, problems to be resolved, and they will be. They will be transformed. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Disappointment in a friend or lover. That, too, is going to teach us. Then we have ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. And it's what we're building. It's what, what's bringing us out of heartache uh, mode into love mode. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. And that's probably navigating through this, that venom. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, Libra. Sending love and light out to you all. Join me for your weekend reading. Bye.